Hey everyone, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Uh, just a few updates before we get started today. I should have an iPhone application uh, completed by the end of this week, so you can watch all these videos just right from your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Also, um, I just changed the domain name for where all these videos can be viewed. It's really easy now. It's just joshwrightpianotv.com. I think it makes it a little bit more simple that way. Um, Today's video request is in response to Daniel's question about making uh, scales and arpeggios and runs, whatever they might be, faster and cleaner and smoother. And also to Carrie's question, um, he had been asking specifically about Chopin, where you can do an uh, how how you can overlap the left hand so you don't have to use as much pedal. So how how can we hold notes through so we don't muddy the right hand? Um, I'll get into that. That's a little bit more of an obscure concept, but today I'm going to expose a method of practice that has really revolutionized my entire approach to playing. And I wanted to start out with a brief little discussion on what music even is. Music at the very basis, um, and hopefully the philosophical thinkers won't uh, disagree with me on this, but just at a very basic physical level, um, Music is a combination of sound and time, and if we understand that concept, we will then be able to pretty much figure out anything in music uh, if we apply those concepts. And I'm going to apply that concept today to teach how we can get those scales faster and cleaner, and then also that second concept, and they're, they're related, that's why I'm doing both videos in one. I'm just going to go ahead and play a scale in the Russian technique. Um, this The scales go up in parallel and then they break in contrast and then they come back down parallel. So. So. I'm continuously working on those as well. They're not perfect by any means, but how can we get them a little bit faster like that is the real question. There's a technique that works amazingly well. If you think about it, how does a scale sound clean? It's when the, the every note overlaps perfectly with each other, and that's what this whole video is on. It's a video on overlapping. If you want a scale to sound light and fleeting, um, just watch that video I posted last week on pearly sound. Uh, we want a little bit of space in between each note. So if we want like a nice light scale just coming down the piano. We can do that by separating the space in between each note a little bit. In order to get a, just a nice legato sounding scale, I like to do this exercise, and I like to do this on really any piece I'm trying to get smoother and my fingers a little bit more legato and solid too. So what I'm going to do is I always, st I always depress the first note, and this exercise I like to call the overlapping and releasing exercise. So I'll start with this, and then all I'm going to say as I go to these next ones is down, off, down, off. So I'm going to play the D while the C is still depressed and I'll say down, off, and I'm going to release the C. And then I'll depress the E, down, and then I release the D. So you can see there's a perfect overlap between each note. So down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off. And I would just do that in a nice slow tempo. I've worked this for the Winter Wind Etude um, by Chopin. It's a very, very labor-intensive exercise, but the reward is amazing. So we can play the Winter Wind Etude much faster as we uh, uh, just increase the tempo down, off, down, off. Down. You can see that my fingers are consistently releasing, and that is giving that sound that ex the exact same amount of time in between each note. So rather than holding some notes down for a long time, like in a C major scale, See, those, those notes are not being held down the same amount, but doing this overlapping and releasing exercise really helps to get it fleeting. So, the winter wind etude, that 
has only come after hours and hours and hours of practicing just down, off, down, off, down, off. Similarly with scales, down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off, down, off. You can see that it just gets better as time goes on. And so I want to apply this concept of the overlapping and releasing exercise to the Chopin Sonata in B minor. Um, fourth movement. This is a very technical movement. Uh, it's, it's a very exciting movement as well. But we're just, I'm just going to go ahead and play the, the passage and then really just kind of discuss how I've practiced this to get it where it's at. in there but uh, how do we get those scales just to be fleeting like that I would just do this over and over again uh, in my daily practice down off down off down off and I would just gradually increase the tempo just thinking okay release those keys at the exact same consistency that uh, every every next key is at. So I hope I'm being clear. All we're really trying to do is make the overlap 100% consistent between the notes. So I would practice like that continuously on any of those things. Now we're this is the second part of the video now to answer Carrie's question. We can also use overlapping to help us achieve something called a finger pedal. A lot of times we don't want to use pedal in music. So for example, especially in Mozart and Bach, we want to use pedal sparingly. It's definitely good to use it for a coloring tool um, to make something like ring out a little bit more, but we don't want to pedal it nearly as much as we might do with Rachmaninoff or Chopin. So this is the uh, F major sonata, first movement. And um, I'm going to just play it and then I'll demonstrate. I'm going to use absolutely no pedal. get that first line to sound so smooth. This is called finger pedaling. I'm going to depress, this is my left hand passage. So we have that in our minds. I'm going to depress that F on the bottom. And then I'm going to practice doing this with all the other fingers. Because that way, when I go to actually make things legato, I'm used to holding that F down. It's really consistent that way, and it, it makes it sound really smooth. So both of these techniques can be used. The first one, just to recap these ideas so everybody's clear. Just practice pressing the first note down. down off, down, off, down, off, down, off. And pretty soon as you, as you start increasing, they'll start to get more and more pearly like that. Um, the second one is overlapping to make a nice pedaled finger pedal, if that makes sense. Okay, so... That way we aren't exploiting the melody, having it run together. We're just having that left hand hold that note through. Any questions at all, please email me. Again, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. And I'd be happy to do a video segment on whatever your question is. Uh, look out for that iPhone app and let me know if it works and what you guys think of it. And I will plan on doing another video next week. Thanks.